This is Edward Mungai on Edward Mungai Fitness. Today we are on day number 13, where we are talking about the five tips for running a marathon. Well, this is from experience. I will be talking to you about the five things that I think are the secrets to running a marathon. Number one is about running for your race. And what do I mean? You will be running 42 kilometers, and those 42 kilometers, you basically need to cut it into eight equal pieces. It's not just about cutting it into eight equal pieces, you need to know what exactly are you going to do for the first piece. What do I mean? In your first five kilometers, you might run, I'll think about and reflect about my family. Then it will take, you'll be thinking about your kids, You'll be thinking about your wife, and for five kilometers, which is about roughly 30 minutes, that is what you dedicate for. Then you move on to the next piece, and by the way, make sure that you celebrate after the first five pieces. The second piece, which is about another ten, five kilometers, to, reach, to get you to 10 kilometers, you might decide to think about your work, meaning your career. And you'll think about things that can help you to put it forward. Which are the things which can energize you? Well, this is the way you must start with a plan. You must have a plan for each and every piece of the race. And this will eventually help you to succeed. Now, number secret number two that you require to be able to run a marathon, in my view, is that you need the night before to be well set for your marathon. I've had instances where I was looking for my charger for this watch and I couldn't find it. So it is always important that the night before you ensure that everything is in place. Your shoes are in place, your bib number. Remember, bib number is that one that you put 23, 43, well, whatever it is, that's your number. And remember, it have got a chip and you must preserve that chip because otherwise if you mess with your chip, the race organizers, the people who are controlling the race, they will not be able to know where you are. So it is important that the night before everything is in place, including your t-shirt, including your shoes, including your socks, because you don't want to be in a rush the following morning when you go for your race. Point number three, and also very important, is that you need a cheering squad. And this cheering squad, you might be wondering, do you take all the family, friends, and relatives to Tokyo? Well, that's not what it means. It means these days with technology, you can have a virtual cheering squad. And when I say virtual, is that we have apps and marathon, marathon organizers have created apps that can be able to help anybody to track you. And I'll be sharing my number so that my followers and my friends, you can be able to follow me on Tokyo 2019 Marathon as I hit the tarmac. You will be able to see how I am progressing kilometer by kilometer and you can be able to cheer. Well, the problem is that I'll not hear your cheers, but I know that we will be together. Talking about point number four in terms of the secret of, of running a marathon, please do not, do not try anything new in terms of diet. Make sure that you are eating the food that you are used to so that you don't want a running stomach the day of the marathon because that truly really can be able to mess you up in your race. Please remember there is something called pasta party and pasta party is very important the night before make sure you have fun and you go for pasta party but don't take wine and also don't take alcohol it's only pasta and this pasta is to help you to push the distance. Finally, number five is that you need to be positive, is that you need to be in the right mood when you're running your marathon because you don't want any, your mood to mess you up. Be in the right mood, be positive, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the steering squad in all shapes and forms. Like I'm really looking forward to see how Japanese steering, steering squads are set up and there will be many people with guitars, with drums, with all sort of things, aerobics and all those kind of things, and I'm looking forward to this. Well, those are the five secrets to running a marathon, and I tell you, if you put this into place, you will be able to enjoy your run, and at the end of it, remember, there is a medal, and you will be able to get your medal, and you'll be able to have achieved that particular objective. Well, this is Edward Mungai with Edward Mungai Fitness. I still continue urging you, please comment, please share, 
please also be able to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so subscribe to the channel ensure that you follow me you continue we continue with the journey and you share the links as much as possible we're looking forward to the next day where i still keep on inspiring you